thing happened to me. I was lost, blinded by the light, shades on, jaded by the fade. Puffin' China white, dropping paper on a chain. Red light, green light, I'm in the latest rain. Supercharged, stop by blue and white, please, no saying my name. No joke, codes that we follow, the oaths that we take. That's too well. The road that we follow, you know we don't break. Lottie Dottie, balls in my world. That's it, thrown in the spur. Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be a sample shopping episode, of course, sponsored by the good folks over at decanshop.com. Use coupon code MAX12, get 12% off your entire order. New stuff added every single week. Good fragrances, best shipping times. You get what you actually paid for. Wonderful curated selection decantshop.com. I fully endorse them, especially off the video that I did on hype fragrances. Decants are really the way to go. I can't give you a better place to get your decants than decantshop.com. Uh, we have four fragrances to discuss this week. All of them are available on Decant Shop's website. So the first one we're going to talk about is from the house of Mason Francis Curtijan. We finished last week with Pour Le Soir which I really liked. This one is called Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, this was a 2015 release from the house with notes of jasmine and saffron at the top, amberwood and ambergris in the middle, fir, resin, and cedar in the base. Now there is a more expensive x straight version of this fragrance available. I would like to try that at some point. This is not that. Pricing for this, a little bit up there, $300 for 75 ml, $575 for 200 ml. And this is meant to mimic the warm and cool sophistication of Baccarat Crystal. It's actually a collaboration between Baccarat and Mason Francis Cartesian. Now, I think this is a good fragrance, I do. Um, but I don't get the, the hoopla. Maybe the hoopla is around the extra, um, which I haven't smelled. I think this is good, but I wouldn't go nuts for this. I think this is just a, a nice gourmand. It, it's very good. It's very sweet. It's a good performer. Um, a little bit spicy. It's like a sweet, spicy fragrance. There's some florals in there. I mean, it's good. This is a good fragrance. I can't say this is bad, but I really... You know, this could be one of those things. I feel like this is one of those fragrances where you hear so much about it, you smell it, and then you're like, um, what? And then you keep wearing it and exploring it, and you're like, oh, I get it. I feel like this could be that, but as of right now, as of today, I'm not I'm not super impressed by, by this fragrance. Um, the next is from the House of Xenia. This is Italian Bergamot. Um, now, supposedly, what's, what's pretty neat here, is I didn't know this, so we all know Xenia has this um, line or a Sensei collection where it's high end materials, and supposedly they invested a lot in this line in getting raw materials to highlight individual uh, individual materials when making a fragrance. So supposedly they bought and this is what they're saying. I, we never know, but they bought bergamot fields um, in Italy exclusively for this for this fragrance um, now I like this line you guys probably know I own Peruvian Ambrette which I think is being discontinued I love that fragrance um, I talked about Javanese patchouli on this channel which I I, I really enjoy as well I think this is a really good line um, I do but I think other than ja now I smelled a bunch of them in store but I think other than Japanese patchouli, I haven't really talked about, and in Peruvian Ambrat, I haven't really talked about too many of these on this channel, and so we're gonna get to look at a few of these from, from this haul of fragrances Decant Shop sent me. Um, they also were able to get pretty high, uh, pretty well-established perfumers like Pierre Negrin, uh, Frank Vocal, Harry Fremont, and Jacques Cavalier to, to do this collection. And this was a 2012 release with notes of Calabrian Bergamot, Neroli, Rosemary, and Vetiver. 125 ml bottle is $205, and these are eau de toilettes. Um, and I think this is good. This is a nice, nice citrus fragrance. This is a nice bergamot fragrance. I can talk a lot if you want about bergamot and citrus fragrances. 
I don't think you need to pay $200 for a good bergamot fragrance. And if you do, I don't think you need to spend $200 on multiple good bergamot fragrances. So I think you need to find the bergamot, neroli, citrus fragrance you love, invest in that, and uh, find some other fragrances. Maybe this will be the one you, you love. I think this one's good. I don't think it's great. I think it's as there's other ones out there that will fill this need for this price. I think this is a high quality fragrance. The next one also from the House of Xenia, same collection. This is their Haitian Vetiver. Um, this was a 2014 release. Um, and the notes on this one, Haitian Vetiver, Neroli, Bergamot, Iris, and Carrot Seed. Again, $205. Um, now I think you can go to eBay, I think, and find all of these for a bit less. And I saw rumors about this one being discontinued as well. Might not be true. Um, yeah, I, I would say this is a really good vetiver scent. I, this is a better, better vetiver scent than Italian bergamot. Is a good bergamot scent. This is really good. But again, you like <laughs> for me. If I have to get one vetiver scent and I want to be a little bit economical about it, I'm getting Guerlain. It's vetiver. Um, I want to spend dough. Personally, I'm probably getting Vetiver Extraordinaire by Frederick Mall. This sort of falls in between those in pricing and in quality, to be honest with you. I think Vetiver Extraordinaire just wallops you with a, a blast of Vetiver. And I think Vetiver um, by Guerlain doesn't probably have as much raw Vetiver in it, but it's just been touched by the hand of such a skilled perfumer that it's fine so this is good i just don't know where this finds a place in a collection if someone's really curating well good fragrance though really good vetiver fragrance finally we're finishing with one from the house of dior guys this is sauvage parfum um you know so real quick i love dior uh, i have a bunch of their fragrances I don't have Sauvage. It is on my list to purchase one day, not because I find it to be the best fragrance ever or one of the best, but because it is a compliment magnet and I think it's enjoyable. Um, yeah, so yeah. So I was really excited to smell this one. I wanted to see how they put their twist on it, uh, to, or their twist on Sauvage for a parfum version. 2018 release, of course, Francois Dimaché. Notes, bergamot, lavender, Sichuan pepper, star anise, nutmeg, and roxanne and vanilla. This is not hit discounters yet. Two ounces, $90, 100 ml, $115. You know, fair pricing, I would say. This is now what sort of eau de parfums in the designer, uh, designer category go for. Um, yeah, this... Uh, it smells like Savage. <laughs> um, something's dialed up. Uh, I'd be lying to you if I could tell you, if I could identify at the top of my head what's dialed up. I don't know. Um, it's pretty good. It's clean. It's soapy. It's fresh. It's vibrant. This will get you compliments. You could probably own this in Sauvage. I'd pick one if it was me. I'd probably pick the original. Um, yeah, and by the way, when I sit here and sort of pause, and I, I am smelling it off a, off a strap. Um, I like this, I and mean, this is really good. But uh, I don't know why. I, I, I don't know what's really different about it than uh, EDT, but it's different. So, mm. <laughs> I just, I... So it's just hard for me, guys. I, I don't know what to say. I like it, but it makes me want to cut my cut myself that I like it. You know, I want to sit there in a corner at night with the light off and uh, listening to like Morrissey, um, cutting my arm, saying, "I like Savage. I like Savage. What's wrong with me? What happened? What do I like Savage? Why do I like Savage?" Slash slash slash. Um, and this one's good too. So anyway. If I'm ranking these, and yeah, you know, you know, I do that. Um, oh boy, what's good here? 
in terms of making perfume, uh, which is the way I'm gonna do this, I think I like a vetiver best. Um, and then I wanna actually go Baccarat, which I like, but this doesn't do it for me. And then I'm gonna go Sauvage, then I'm gonna go Bergamot. Would I buy any of these? I would probably at one point in my life, hopefully get Sauvage, whether it's the EDT or the EDP, I don't know. I want to smell that Baccarat X straight. I would not buy this one. And I think these Xenias are just jiffy and, and, you know, fine. But I don't know what's different about them than the million other fragrances out there. It's cool Xenia is like trying to concentrate on making this, you know, line of uh, fragrances where they source the materials. But guys, we've, you're not the only ones, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, that's it. That is it for this one. DecantShop.com, coupon code MAX12. All these fragrances are available there. In a couple weeks, we'll finish up this haul of fragrances with one from, another from the, actually two more, I'm sorry, from the Xenia Ascense line. Hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck. One from Van Cleef and Arpels and one from Comme de Garçon. Um, any questions, comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, Go to Decan Shop, use that coupon code MAX12, and I'll see you all next week with some more videos. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. My name obviously is Max and I'm Family. Never forgetting where we came from. Because I own my own company. My company sells a product that's better than the competition.